This is the engine control room of this LNG ship. In this engine room, you will not see huge diesel engines, but you will see two huge boilers producing superheated steam for propulsion. In order to produce steam, we need three things, water, fuel oil, and air. In this video, we see the engine room deck by deck. We see all the equipment related to propulsion and all the other auxiliary equipment to help with the ship's operation. So two main boilers, they are fed with distilled water, with air from the FD fans and with fuel oil from the fuel oil tanks. And they produce superheated steam. This superheated steam goes to the main turbines. These main turbines turn the reduction gear and the reduction gear turns the propeller. And then the superheated steam goes back to the main condenser and it becomes again water and goes back to the full cycle of the boilers. Okay, enough theory now, let's go outside. So these are the two boilers, boiler double size and boiler four size. This is the burner table. Three burners for the starboard boiler and three burners for the fourth boiler. So these are the two boilers. Behind this wall, we have the convection pump. I will offer for you this sighting glass to see what's happening inside. These equipment are our source of electricity. Two turbo generators and one diesel in. This turbo generator is a power generating system that used a turbine driven by steam to spin an alternator which then produced electrical energy. This electricity is used to power the ship's other electrical systems. A standby diesel engine in case of failure of turbo generators. Heat pumps. These heat pumps apply water to boiler to create steam, and they are ran on steam as well. You have one heat pump running, one heat pump standby, and another electric heat pump which is standby as well. Boiler feed pumps are critical components responsible for supplying high pressure water from the feed tank to the boilers to maintain the correct water level for continuous steam generation. The second item for our proportion is what? Please produce in this two plants. You may check out this detailed video to see how we produce fresh water from seawater on board ships.
Oh, it's very hot in the engine room. Let's have a break here in the engine workshop under the AC. Drink some water, change the battery for the camera, and we continue our uh, tour. The ship's engine workshop is a dedicated space with tools and machinery for the maintenance and repair of the vessel's engine and other mechanical systems while at sea. It is equipped with lathe, grinding and cutting machines, a welding station with a plasma cutter and various hand tools. item is the fuel oil. These pumps send the fuel oil from the fuel oil tanks to the boilers. We have the main pumps to have the main pumps. The main pumps take the remaining steam from the sending the water and send it back to the feed pump and feed pumps send it to the boilers to create speed effect. These are the two main turbines, high pressure turbine and low pressure turbine. These turbines, they run at very high speed to turn the reduction gear. And the reduction gear will turn the shaft which turns the propeller. So the steam turns the main turbine at high speed. These turbines will turn the induction gear to give the required RPM regulation per minute to the shaft which turns the propeller. Behind this boat wall, we have the state which is an area of PD pressurized all wall in the water coming in, in case of any leak. And behind the statue, we have the problem. You can also see how this should turn all the acidic, we'll check out this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.